Hello and welcome to Ivy Times TV. I'm Marisa Christian. Today we're going to go over the details of Elon Musk's Hyperloop with Ivy Times tech reporter Dave Smith. Now, Elon Musk revealed a few new details on Monday about the Hyperloop. What information did he unveil? So uh, he actually unveiled a lot about the Hyperloop. We were all looking forward to this date. Uh, he basically came out with his full 57-page proposal, which kind of outlines uh, the abstract of generally how it would work, uh, how much people would how much people would pay uh, per ticket. Uh, how fast it can go, uh, basically explaining uh, how it can be uh, weather resistant, earthquake resistant, uh, cheaper, more convenient, and uh, more reliable in general than most high speed forms of transportation, and why it makes sense to introduce this as a new form of transportation. As most of us know, Elon Musk is the chief executive of Tesla Motors and SpaceX. He clearly wants to revolutionize transportation. Why did he decide to build the Hyperloop? You know, he, uh, he said in his, um, in his proposal that the main impetus behind the Hyperloop was that he saw California's proposal for its own uh, high-speed rail and saw that it, was, it would cost an, an extreme amount of money, uh, $70 billion just to build between San Francisco and Los Angeles, which is a, an excessive amount of money that we really can't afford as a country. We really should be putting that money to good use and to smarter use. Uh, his proposal says that he can do the same thing w with far less money, uh, but he can actually make it faster, more convenient, uh, better for the environment, and, uh, and he can do it faster, uh, and he can make it better. <laughs> um, how much will this project cost, and when will construction begin, hypothetically? Hypothetically, uh, construction co would cost, in general, about uh, $6 billion, somewhere around there. Uh, about 70% of that cost would be going towards just the tube itself, uh, but luckily, um, even with any kind of damage that would happen to the Hyperloop, uh, it's still very cheap to maintain and to fix. Uh, so it's about $6 billion and amortized over the uh, 20, uh, over 20 years time. Uh, that would mean that people would just be paying about $20 per ticket to access the Hyperloop, uh, which is a lot cheaper than uh, you know, car rides at that distance or even plane rides, uh, or especially train rides too. What uh, cities will Hyperloop link to? Well, at first, this plan is just talking about linking just two cities, Los Angeles and San Francisco and California. Uh, I think Elon would like to expand that Hyperloop design to reach even further. He says that this really would work for any two cities within a 900 mile distance. So he could theoretically uh, connect New York and Los Angeles. I think he would like to do that. But first, he would like to try a smaller scale, which is just in the state of California. And again, this would be replacing that high-speed rail, that ex very expensive $70 billion high-speed rail that is being proposed in California. So this is the immediate concern for him. Now, Elon has tackled banking with PayPal, public transportation, space exploration. What's next? Time travel? What has he not tried to do? <laughs> you know, maybe teleportation, you know, maybe as a new tr form of transportation. That would be nice. Or but, um you know, it, this seems like a great project. He said that initially he wouldn't be doing this project because he's so busy, but he's changed his mind since saying that he will be doing uh, some preliminary designs and helping out and investing himself uh, and his own money in this project. He said that uh, the $6 billion that it would take to make this project is more than SpaceX, Tesla, and SolarCity have spent as companies combined. So this is a project that he is, he, he's done the cost, he's done the, si he's done the science, he's done the math. Uh, he has a team of engineers behind this, uh, and he has a lot of uh, backing, obviously, by people who have seen the stuff that he's already done, PayPal, Tesla. They're confident in those products, and I'm sure they'll be confident in this one. So uh, I, I think it'll be really interesting to see what he does next, but teleportation, maybe. <laughs> uh, not ruling it out. Well, I'm really excited about the Hyperloop, and thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure.